Let's begin on a sad note by paying tribute to one of Nigeria's first republic political leaders and the first aviation minister, Mbazuliki Amechi, who died at the age of 93, according to a press statement signed by Izena Tagbo on behalf of the family. Pahamechi died on the early, in, the, in the early hours of Tuesday, 1st of November. He was a nationalist and the only surviving member of the Zikist movement. Jide, 93, ripe so, age. Very ripe age, um, uh, given the standard of these times. Um, I was reading about a vibrant role he played as a trade unionist for years, beginning from 1949 to 1955. And um, the fact I was a very prominent member of the Zikist movement. Um, and he, along with others, took oaths that they would never get married until Nigeria gained independence, because the Zikist movement played a big part in the battle for Nigeria's independence. Uh, back then. So, and he suffered persecution, taken to court several times as he continued to fight for uh, independence of our country. Because at that time, labor leaders played a very active part in fighting for um, the independence of Nigeria. And there was a very active labor leader at that time. And of course, it was. Um, the first Republic Aviation Minister. Many will recall his last uh, publicized public appearance when he led other prominent Igbo leaders, including uh, Chukwe Izife, to the president to demand for the release of uh, uh, Namdi Nam Kanu to him. And what he said at that time to the president was that, look, he listens to me. This, that, can this is a video of that last visit that yes. you are talking about. Yes. He said, I can guarantee to you, sir, that if you release him to me, all the things that he's doing that are not good, we will make sure that he stops. He listens to me. And there are examples of occasions when, indeed, IPOB listened to some prominent uh, leaders in the East that they still respect, people like Ezefe. Remember when people thought the election would not take place, I probably self came out to say no, the Anambra election will go ahead, you know, and everything calmed down, enabling Soludo to defeat uh, uh, his adversaries uh, with a good margin. So uh, we've lost a nationalist, we've, we've lost a gentleman, and I can only pray that God. Uh, who give the family the fortitude, you know, to bear the loss. Those um, nationalists that fought for our independence in 1960, that said like, that this should be, like, if not the last of them, but, um, if, you know, they, they are just, they're living, when you look at the age, and when you look at 1960, in which they fight for the independence, and to look at time, especially somebody that God has been good to, that we spare his life 93 years of age in Nigeria, where life expectancy is 54, 58. Yeah. No, no, honestly, God has been very good to him. And uh, you know what they call him? Uh, the boy is good. That's the name uh, they call him then when he was a minister. No, fantastic man, um, elder state man, nationalist to the core. And uh, to also, I think that, uh, you know, just last year, he lost his wife, Chinelo, Madame Chinelo, at the age of 91. Mm. So they're just like two years apart. Mm. So, I mean, um, it's somebody that uh, should be celebrated. I mean, uh, I think the government of uh, Anambra State should consider giving him a state burial as a mark of honor for what he did for the uh, ego race, for keeping the virtues of uh, Dr. Namdi Azikwe. I mean, as a key member of, I mean, very respected Igbo leader, he will speak truth to power and to the extent that uh, Buhari keeps asking after him that, he, I mean, that, he sh that they should go and talk to him 
to talk to uh, the younger generation to, I mean, see reason and stop being uh, 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 troublesome, you know. So, uh, the Nigeria as a whole has lost a nationalist and we can only pray that uh, God Almighty uh, grants him uh, eternal rest and gives the family the fortitude to bear the uh, irreplaceable loss. loss. All right.